this week's meals i'm up on our meal board already um it's tuesday today so last night we had chicken kievs tonight we're having the tuscan pasta wednesday we've got barbecue sausage tray bake thursday we've got cajun chicken tray bake friday we've got beef stroganoff saturday we've got stuffed salmon and on Sunday, we have got the beef and broccoli and bean sauce. So I've been to Lidl and I've done our weekly food shop. I have actually separated everything out here, which is what is going to be for our evening meals. And I've also made a list of everything I've bought and what we have in stock. I always go through our cupboards before I go food shopping, just so I don't buy anything that I've already got. Saves waste, saves money. So I've gone through everything and I've actually written down how much each meal has cost me. So as I go through it with you, I will explain how much it's cost and hopefully it'll give you a bit of inspiration on how to save for your food shopping and maybe some weekly meal plans as well. First up, we are having the Tuscan chicken for tea, which is what we're having for tonight. So we've got the baby spinach, which I will use half a bag of this. So if I look at my list here... The spinach, it'll work out as 40p. So I've got that, and then we'll we'll use the full soft cheese, which will be 75p. Tin tomatoes, parmesan cheese, I will use half of that. We've got a bag of carrots here, and I have put on here, where is it? Um, I will use two of the carrots, so it'll work out as eight pence per meal. And then we've got the cherry tomatoes, where are they on my list? I'll use half a bag again, and that's worked out as 49p. These big, what would you call it? Tubs? <laughs> These big boxes of chicken, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it. It works out cheaper to buy a big one and then divide it. So I've got on here the chicken breast. It was £10.49 for the seven. I'm going to use two, and it's 2 99 But if I bought two chicken breast in a packet on its own in Lidl there were three pounds something so it's only a little saving but it's still a saving so I'm going to take the two out and then I'll freeze the rest but I'm actually using a few this week anyway so that was one save and then this meal in total has cost me six pounds 65 which is actually the most expensive meal we've got this week so that was everything for the Tuscan chicken the things that I have got in stock already, a bit like the chicken stock, the pasta I've already got in, so that's a save. But I've gone through the cupboards and made sure I haven't bought anything we've already got. Wednesday night meal, we have got the sausage tray bake. This is actually one of the cheapest meals we're having this week at £3.87. So we've got the Italian style stir fry veg mix, which it was one ninety nine. We've got the miniature potatoes and I'll be using half a bag of these. So that'll work out at 31p. I bought the big bag of onions and if I divide them, there's eight in there, works out at 8p each. So it was cheaper to buy a big bag. And then the sausages, I'll be using the full packet of these and they were 149. So that's all the sauce ingredients that I'll need. But it was everything I had in already. Check my cupboards, I already had that so I didn't need to buy any of that. So that was a massive, massive save. On Thursday, we are having the Cajun chicken tray bake. So again, it'll be these chicken breasts that I will use, which has been divided by the packet. So it'll be 2 99 for the two that I'll be using. Again, the onions will come out of the big pack that I'm using there. Sweet potato was 81 pence. And then the veg mix again is here. And that was the same price as the other one, at one ninety nine. And the Cajun seasoning, I already have that in. Friday night, we are having beef stroganoff. So I have got the creme fraiche there. We'll use the full tub of that. I bought a family pack of mushrooms and I'll probably use half of them. So that'll be 65p for the meal. And then I have bought the family pack of the diced beef and I will split it again and freeze half for next week or another time in the future. Um, that works out at £2.75 for the meal, which is quite good. The paprika I've already got in, the pasta I've got in, things like the butter I've already got in. So what I've spent for the meal this week is £4.47. So when you break it down, it's not as much as what you would think. Saturday we are having stuffed salmon, so it's the salmon fillets the most expensive part of this meal at £4.29. I'll be stuffing the salmon with spinach and soft cheese, which I've got the spinach there left over and I've got another tub of soft cheese there. I may put a bit of garlic granules in as well, which I've already got in stock. 
and then I will serve them with potatoes which will be left over from this meal and also broccoli as well which will be used on this meal and also this meal so that worked out at £6.12 per meal which is probably one of our most expensive meals this week along with the the Tuscan chicken one that was the most expensive so that was the salmon on that one though and then lastly on sunday night we are having beef and broccoli in bean sauce so i've got one of these Sherwood black and black bean and red pepper sauces i had to get that from tesco's because little little didn't have it in so that was one pound fifty and then i have got three frying sticks here i don't think i'll use all three um i'll probably use two so i'll put one in the freezer which works out at two pounds six and then the one in the freezer i could either save for another day i could have it for my lunch one time anything like that and then i've got two packets of rice to serve that with um the broccoli again like i said it'll half for this meal and half the salmon meal that we're going to be having so that worked out at four pounds 63 Moving on to everything else I've got. So these are kind of things for lunch, breakfast, Ben's pack up and things like that. Bits and bobs for the house. So I've got some wild rocket, raspberries and some strawberries, cucumber, mango, lettuce, some red onions. Got some puff pastry, which always comes in handy for lunchtime for me and Lenny. Some steak slices, which are for Ben's pack up, along with the breaded ham. Got some yogurts for Lenny and he's already ate one for his dinner today. So I've got some there. These for breakfast, just some crumpets and some hot crust buns. I love a hot crust bun. Um, some chocolate bars, for, well not chocolate bars, breakfast bars for Ben's pack up. So we've got the cranberry ones and the chocolate ones. A couple of tins here. We've got spaghetti hoops, macaroni cheese and a sweet corn. Some wet, melty sweet corn rings for Lenny. Some eggs, some cheese coffee for me must have essential um some cakes ice fairy cakes nice little treat some fresh uh, not fresh orange sorry some die little bus squash hairspray deodorant and a massive bag of crisps and that was everything i got this week the grand total i spent this week was 80 pounds and four pence now when she said that at the till, I thought that was quite a lot, but now I've come home and I've broke it all down and our most expensive meal this week was £6.65. It doesn't seem that bad, but if I hadn't have gone through our covers beforehand to make sure what we have got, what we haven't got, it would have definitely been a lot more than £80 and four pence. So it does really help just to save the money and also save waste, which is also very important. So I hope this video has given you some inspiration or some meal ideas. The recipes that I've mentioned today from this week, I will be sharing all the recipes over on my Instagram account, Not So Farmer's Wife. So please give me a follow over on there and I will be sharing all them on there as well. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all very soon.